Hey girl, hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite girl, A. Marie, and today, as you can tell by the thumbnail and title, baby, we got some perfume and body care to haul. Are y'all still in for the ride of the perfume journey? Let your girl know. Before we go any further, I would love for you guys to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification. Don't forget to like and comment down below. Let's get into it. So I didn't want to drag this video out or anything like that. So I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna run through these products. I use some of them so far. I've used some of them, but if I can't really give a description on it, then you guys, I'm just gonna tell y'all what I think of it because I'm not that perfume guru. I just, girl, I just love me some fragrance, okay? And the body care stuff, okay? I do have the white bucket. Y'all know the famous white bucket. We do have her, but we also have this Bath and Body Work bag. She's a little heavy and full. Let's not judge, okay? Let's not judge. All right, so let's start. I went back to my beauty supply store just to see if they had any new roll-ons in these inspired perfumes or these duped perfumes type ordeal so i did pick up the ryan what is this ryan blank blake 55 and this one is in pink sugar y'all know this brand this brand and the other brand that i've been talking about in a lot of my perfume videos, they are duping the higher-end perfumes. You know, they're inspired by. So I got Pink Sugar and I wore this and it smells like candy. It smells so good, but it's not a childish candy. But I can say a child, teenager, grown-up, all could wear this. It smells so good. I wore it alone one day and the scent stayed. It was really cute. It's have a scent collection. You guys know I've been picking up all of these from my beauty supply store. And I picked up four more. From the have a scent collection, I got Prada Candy. I got the Gucci Bloom. Now, when we're talking about this Gucci Bloom, I did have this Gucci Bloom in my Dillard's bag, the sample. I hauled that for you guys. Dillard's had came out with a $35 sample bag and it had all the samples in it and i really did like gucci bloom but everybody said it didn't last so with me having the sample i was like i really want to buy the full bottle because i do like the scent and see if it lasts on me but when i went into my beauty supply and seeing the gucci bloom in the roll-on i was like mm. first of all too bad i already used it but I think I may just go ahead and stick with this. It kind of, it kind of has a different, kind of almost has a different scent from the Gucci Bloom sample, but it still smells so good. I haven't, I have Prada Candy in my bag that I haven't used yet. Um, I did pick up the Victor and Roth Flower Balm, and I think I used this one in my sample already. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I love it. And I picked up Miss Dior. Since everyone loves Miss Dior, I went ahead and picked her up. I kind of need to wear it because I kind of don't. It's like, mm, do I like it? So yeah, I kind of need to wear her and see how I feel. So those are the ones that I got from my beauty supply store. I'm building a good little collection from the roll-ons at the beauty supply keep them coming have a scent so let's talk about the family dollar scents the family dollar came out with some body sprays and i think it's like four or five of them but i only picked up three maybe i'll go back and get the other ones so we have brazilian dreams and i think this is supposed to be the sol de janeiro sol de janeiro 62 in my perfume tray this week and these notes on Brazilian Dreams just put it right to my face. 
It's a playful warm mix of pistachio, salted caramel, sandalwood, and cream and vanilla. Um, okay, so then we have vanilla rouge. Who we thinking? Woody and spicy mix of jasmine, amber, and warm vanilla. What I got on now. <laughs> Baccarat rouge. Like, come on. That's what we're giving. And they look cute. They some cute bottles. And then we got Cherry Rebel. Now, this one is supposed to be the Tom Ford dupe. Lost Cherry, but this one really does smell like the Finery Cherry one. I forgot the name of the cherry scent from Finery. Uh, Finery. Which is a dupe for Lost Cherry. So, this one is a luxurious blend of ruby red smoke. Luxurious. Luxurious. Luscious cherry and soft leather. Y'all don't smell no leather in this, thank God. And if I do, it's very, very light. But thank God, because I hate the scent of leather. Okay, I can kind of smell it, but that cherry, yeah, that cherry and that smoke really pushes the leather out of the way. All right, let's go with TikTok. TikTok had a perfume called Coffee. It's named Coffee. It says Wild Hibiscus on it and I was a tad bit confused because coffee, hibiscus, mm, you know. So I picked it up. I can't remember how much it was, but it was fairly cheap. And that was the reason why I did pick it up. Here is the bottle. Wild hibiscus coffee perfume. And I don't know how to feel about it. It's a soft perfume. I don't get coffee or hibiscus from it. But I can't say I hate it, but I think I'm going to mix something with it. Yeah, I think I'm going to mix something with it. I think it would probably be okay for like a bedtime scent. TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. So I did finally find, what is this brand? I don't know, but it's Praline and Pistachio. I found it at Marshall's for $16.99. And you guys, this thing is good okay oh it just smells so good you smell praline you smell pistachio it's almost like you smell caramel the praline and the caramel scent like it's strong on the caramel it's strong on the praline you smell the pistachio mm, i feel like if you want to get swallowed get you this I'm going to talk about this Vaseline Shimmer, Shimmer, Shimmering Body Oil. My wife got this off Amazon. It's been in my Amazon cart for a minute. It is summertime. It is hot. I do want to use it. They say it smells good. They say it works on your body really well. Hey, you know, shimmering, glistening everywhere. But I don't got nowhere. I don't know if I'm going to get good use out of this. I don't know if I'm going to get good use out of it, but since we're sitting here and my chest is all out, let me give y'all something to look at. Let's, let's see. She smells good, but I put too much. And I don't think no shimmer got in that pump. So we're going to sit here and look like a greasy fried piece of chicken. I'm gonna see what kind of use I can get out of this. All right, and then this one is the, it says Pistachio Skin Care Pistachio Biscotti Perfume. I got this out of a Ipsy bag last month, this month. I don't like it. I don't like that smell. I don't know what it smells like, but it's not what I thought. So I am going to try to give it away. See if somebody else likes the smell, the scent of it. Because it just didn't work for me. Moving on to the last two before all my bathroom body works. These two I was excited to get. And I am highly upset about one. And on the fence of a nah on the other one. The Kim, Ka Kim Kardashian gold perfume i think i'm gonna put this on my poshmark matter of fact speaking of poshmark i do have some bundles of beauty uh makeup products that's on my poshmark right now that i just listed if you guys are interested in checking it out 
I think I'm gonna add the Kim K there. Y'all, this don't smell good. I was trying to see if it has any of the notes on the back of here. And it doesn't, and it makes it like, that's why you didn't put it on here. But the notes that I read on, on Amazon when my wife was at a store, I was reading it and I was like, well, the Kim K sounds like it'll smell good. Mm -mm, it's not for me. I sprayed it on the box and that was it. It's not for me. I don't, it, it smells old. And the other one, the Dolly Parton scent from above perfume. Dolly Parton is a beautiful Caucasian lady. I read the notes online while my wife was in the store of her perfumes and she has high ratings, but I, mm, 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 get no, this kind of smell like something, somebody in the nursing home. No, no offense. I was so excited to get it. And I thought the bottle is pretty. The bottle is so pretty. Let me put this back up. The bottle is so pretty, the little butterfly and stuff. This is cute. This is cute to have in your collection on the shelf. Like this is cute but absolutely not for me let me say that not for me all right so we're done with all of the extra perfumes now the rest of the perfumes and lotions will be all bath and body works this was still within the time frame of the semi-annual sale so i got a lot of them discounted and stuff like that i think i got a couple of them free can't remember which ones they were but using all of the points and stuff like that I got me some free stuff. So, we're gonna start with this whipped coconut milkshake. Y'all, I hate a coconut scent, but this coconut scent is not too overbearing. Yeah, it's very light in the coconut. So, I really like this. I got the body wash and the spray, and the notes of it is vanilla ice cream toasted coconut and sugared amber. I don't really smell the coconut in it, so I thought maybe I would really like it. I know before I use it, I need to at least spray the body spray on me and wear it and see what kind of hit I get. Cause if the coconut starts to come out too much, I'm gonna put this in my drawer of gifting. Okay, so I got those. Y'all, this is one of my like, ooh. Like, mm, like, uh, this Bridgerton, Bridgerton Diamond of the Season. First of all, the Bridgerton show or whatever it is, never watch. The Bridgerton collection at Bath and Body Works, never smell. For some odd reason, I seen my girls in Facebook. Sorry y'all, that was my lash client. But my girls on Facebook were telling me like they was talking to me personally. <laughs> they were telling me that this diamond of the season and the Jimmy Choo Got Want You for, uh, no, Jimmy Choo Got Want You perfume paired together was Chef's Kiss. So I was like, you know what? I picked up this because I like this scent. I like this scent. I can wear this scent alone. It reminds me of something, but I can't put my finger on it. It reminds me of a certain scent. It's like a clean, fruity, playful, but sexy type of scent. Um, the notes in here is sparkling peach, spring daffodil, and radiant jasmine. Smells so good. I was like, I picked that up from Bath and Body Works during the sale. So let me try to pair it with the Jimmy Choo. And baby, when I say, Them girls in that since you smell good group on Facebook, baby, they know what they doing. They know what they do. They know how to play with it. And girl, that was a set. It was a set. Like, Jimmy Choo, I want you to already smell rich, classy, boss lady, woman. Okay? <laughs> Get you a couple of squirts of this mixed in with that. It's like one of those, baby, I live unbothered. Do not talk to me any kind of way. Okay? So I had to go back and pick up the lotion because I was like, if I'm going to pair these two together, I want the longest, the longest drawn 
out scent I can get from it. So I got the lotion and the body spray. Wifey had already bought me the Jimmy Choo. So baby, this Pink Paradise. Now, Bath and Body Works did come out with this little small collection and it was like maybe three of them, maybe four in this type of collection. And I wasn't too like, oh yeah, let me run and get it. Everybody said that it's like a Sol de Janeiro line. So when I was able to get something free, I went ahead and picked these up. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was these two different times. But I was like, let me just try it since it'll be free. So I got the bath wash and I got the spray. Now these are called the Pink Paradise. This is dragon fruit and hibiscus. It says pink dragon fruit, wild hibiscus, and blush moss. And y'all, this smells so good. Girl, this give you, <laughs> this kind of give you the feel of, to say it, it, it says pink dragon fruit and wild hibiscus, none of that is gonna go with what I'm gonna say. But for some odd reason, it give me that feel. So maybe it's the cousin. And y'all should already know what I'm about to say. Like, I know everybody, well, I am. I'm not going to speak for everybody. I am. I feel like Baccarat is being drug out. Like, y'all are dragging it through the rocky roads. Like, y'all are dragging it. But everybody wants that Baccarat feel without that Baccarat price. And it's kind of put me in, like, Baccarat cousin. It, that's what it gives me. It smells good. I have on a Baccarat dupe right now with, what is it called? It's a um, Bath and Body Works scent. And it's like one of my favorite. Poppy. Poppy. I got Poppy on the body lotion. I mean the body butter that come in a little tub. And the spray in this Five Sins perfume that gives me Baccarat feel. I got it in a boxy charm. A few months ago I showed it on camera if y'all go back and look at it I have those two on today they I wanted to test it out and see if they smell good together play well together and it's funny because this smells nothing like the spray this one you can actually smell some type of fruit I don't know if it'd be the hibiscus or the pink dragon fruit but you smell some type of fruit but in here you smell I'm gonna go ahead and say the blush moss of it I also got, ooh, I got me the new Gangnam Fresh. I did smell it. I think I had got it in a roll-on or something like that. It's something made me go back and buy it. And I want to say I picked it up in something. I don't know. But I was like, let me try the new Gangnam Fresh. And a lot of people say they don't like it, but I love it. It has ju the fragrance notes. <laughs> That's probably why I like it. Juicy Pear, Sparkling Clementine, Fresh Daisies. Now the Clementine, the Colossal Clementine, I think would probably mix with this a little bit, you know. This Juicy Pear, I think would go perfect with I Am Her from Forever Mood. I like it, I love it, I can't wait to use it. Oh, I also found in in the in the in the 75. I'ma tell you what's not a part of the annual sale in this bag. This here was a part of the annual sale, and I just so happened to run across it in the bin, and y'all it was a dollar when the man rung it up. It was a dollar and thirty something cents. So I was like, even if I don't like it. Who's going to pass up a whole, this one used to be $14. Who's going to pass it up? So this one is French Lavender and Honey Body Spray. It doesn't even have the notes on it. This must have been like an old, old, old collection because i never seen it before. It doesn't have no notes on it or anything. So most things I don't like lavender because it be too heavy on the lavender. This one here, it's almost like you smell the honey, but you smell something else, and it's not lavender. And I don't know what the notes or what the notes are in this because it has completely nothing on it. So I can't say I love it, and I can't say I hate it. 
if I end up not liking it after I wear it for the first time, I'm going to put it in my gifting drawer. So I also picked up Chasing Fireflies and this is the perfume spray, the little mini. Now I picked this up because I do have Chasing Fireflies in I think the travel size. But either way it go, I love Chasing Fireflies. And this one pairs really well with Jimmy Choo I Want You perfume too. You're gonna smell too good. And I have a, a regular bottle. Why, why am I using this one that much already? And I wonder, I've been wondering if they're trying to get rid of Chasing Fireflies. Mm, I hope not because it's a good one. Um, oh, I picked up the Pink Paradise scrub too. I forgot about that. I got the scrub to go along with the body wash. I also went ahead and picked up, because I have the spray, I went ahead and got Gangnam Gorgeous, which is one of my favorite Ganghams. This one pairs really well with something that I own. The Yara, Yara, the pink bottle. This pairs really good with it. Love it, love it, love it. This is pink strawberries, peach nectar, and peony bloom. Y'all, I'm becoming a real Gangnam fan. <laughs> for real, for real. So this body lotion I also found in the 75% off bin. Never heard of it. Marshmallow pumpkin latte. I'm not a pumpkin fan. But I also said if I don't end up liking, like if it's too strong, it'll go in the gifting box. But smelling it, you smell pumpkin, but you also smell marshmallow. The fragrance notes in this one is pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallow, creamy sandalwood, and praline musk. Oh, girl. Praline pistachio with the marshmallow pumpkin latte. I bet this is a vibe. I'm going to report back to y'all on like Instagram or somebody. All right, and then the last but not least, I got this one for free uh, as well. So it wasn't a part of like the annual sale or anything, but I did go ahead and dip into the new fall collection. And this one is the pumpkin swirl cake. Bath and Body Works has launched their fall and their Halloween collection. And I want the blueberry bunk cake. Y'all, I want that full collection so bad because it smells so good. I think that type of scent for me, I would only wear like bedtime or when I know I'm not really going nowhere because it really is really sweet. I don't know if it's too blueberry to where I feel like it could be a little childish, but the scent smells so good i want the collection so me dipping into the pumpkin swirl cake hmm, it's pumpkin spice caramel toffee and creamy vanilla i just wanted to dip off into it why i didn't get the blueberry lotion i don't know i think i wanted to dip off into it and see because i'm not a pumpkin lover so i wanted to get the least favorite one that i thought it's blueberry bun cake, strawberry pound cake, and this pumpkin swirl cake is the collection. And honestly, I think this will go perfect with the Sol de Janeiro, I think it's 71. That caramelized one that Sol de Janeiro came out with. Because that's exactly what I'm smelling. Like, I don't smell pumpkin at all. And I can't wait to use this lotion and test it out because, again, if the pumpkin starts coming out and coming out too hard, you're just going to go in the gift bag. I mean, in the gift drawer. So, yeah. That is everything, you guys. That is the perfume and body care stuff that I have picked up lately. Thank y'all so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you picked up. Let me know. Let me know what you're interested in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank y'all again so, so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Deuces.